Hi everyone, I am Dark Minded Sith, and Welcome back. to more Let's Play Pokemon Snap. That was a very nice greeting, Oak. Hope you're doing fine today, Samuel. Yeah, that's his name, by the way. So, on today's exciting agenda, we'll be entering World 3, the Volcano. That's right, Professor Oak's Pokemon portfolio is so important that he is sending our young hero, Todd, to the dangers of the Volcano. Is it worth it, Oak? Is it worth it? Yes. Oh, well, Todd agrees. It's, it's worth it, so... Let's go ahead and get started with World 3 here. And you want to be kind of quick here, because right off the bat... Rapidash. Fast as always. Two more. Not a big fan of Rapidash. Why? Because it's too darn fast, that's why. And it always hits me first when I battle it. That's why. And over here we have the adorable Vulpix which for the longest time was probably my favorite Pokemon. And it still is based on cuteness, I guess, but look at that. I mean, how can you not love that? And they're eating together, they're happy together. They have the same apple to eat, but they're still getting along. They're saying, would you like half? Sure, I'd be glad to give you half of it. If only we could all share our food the same way. It's always that jerk who has to get the bigger slice of pizza. Vulpix used to be my favorite Pokemon, but then I finally used it in battle, and I realized, wow, this thing is about as fragile as glass. It fainted constantly. Ah, look at that. Charmander's made a new friend. That's... oh. Guess not. Magmar, you have killed Charmander. Or no, he evolved into Charmeleon. And to think, I thought you had to get it to level 16. Or, I don't know. Maybe being engulfed by that much fire suddenly jumps it up a f like 10 levels. Who knows. Right here we got this pesky egg blocking our way. What a jerk. But, we're going to use that to our advantage here. We want to be careful not to hit it with an apple, but... We're going to throw an apple, or two, or three. Actually, a lot. Many an apple here. Charmander's gonna go after it, and he says, oh, this apple's just for me. I have hit the mother load of apples. But then you'll see many a Charmander comes. And here they come, and they're supposed to, yep, six, seven. We've got a Charmander Palooza. Have you ever seen that many Charmander, ever? Other than if you've played this game. It's amazing seeing this many Charmander, especially back then. Because all we ever really could see was the starter that we had. But now look at that. It's as if we had a giant Charmander fest. And got all the people together who chose Charmander as their starter. They don't really like having their picture taken, as you can see. Like, get that away from me. Alright, now that we've gotten quite a few pictures of that, we're finally going to get this daggum egg out of our way. Yeah, you go in the lava, and that's what you get for... Oh! Moltres. That was a legendary Pokemon there. Hello! That's right. So much for being legendary. Oh, wow. I just totally missed a great shot of Magmar there. Oh, wait, no I didn't. Yeah! <laughs> that's the shot I was hoping for. I know if you kind of turn around... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Darn it, I just missed it. Moltres will, like, come back, and you can get an even better shot of it when it kind of circles around. Oh, well. Just that one little shot of Moltres is enough for Oak to just be like, you serious? You found a legendary Pokemon? And here we got a better shot of, shot of Charmeleon. Hopefully I'll have enough time to do a little something else with him that I want to do. Come on, man. I believe in you. Boom! Get in there! Yeah, that's right. Pokemon murder. No. Oh! Oh, Charizard! Nice! Hit him with an apple, and... Yeah. And Todd is probably dead now. Sorry. Yeah. If Todd was standing there, he's dead. Rest in peace, Todd. He died doing what he loved, at least. I almost used all the film there. But all those shots were worth it. Alright. So let's take a gander of all of our lovely shots, yeah. Rapidash running after the rear end of a Rapidash. I don't think Oak's gonna like that too much. That's probably our best Rapidash there. 
Some of these later Vulpixes were the best. Yeah, oh. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. He's like, got your nose? Yeah. Alright. That one's good, but it's a little off-center. Yeah. Several high knees. He's gonna like that. Oh, look at that speed. No, that's just a lava. Okay. Alright, we want one with two of them. You know what? I'm going to album that one. The uh, nose one. I'm a sucker for that cuteness. Put that in our album. Uh, I think probably that one looks the best. Now let's move on to our Charmander Palooza here. That one's pretty good, that one. I don't know if we'll get extra points for the roaring. I don't think so. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. It has a good amount of Charmander, and the one in the middle is facing the, the camera. These Moltres shots are kinda eh, but... Oak will love the fact that it's Moltres, so... Alright, we got quite a few Magmar. Yeah, <laughs> dead magmar. Oh man, that's great. Wow, look at that. There we go. Magmar killing another magmar. That's why I took this job, Oak. I didn't really get a good Charmeleon because I was, yeah, you know, I was, I was really focused on trying to hurry up and make it a Charizard. So. I, like many trainers, tried to rush the evolution. Wow, that's great. Always love getting that Charizard shot. I think that one's the best. And he's using fire, so... Alright, we've picked all our shots, so... Time for Oak's constructive criticism. Alright, does he like the Rapidash? Wonderful. Wonderful! Okay. Little picks. I'll go ahead and go through this one slowly to see if he... says anything nice about it. It looks happy. Well, there are other Vulpix. Wonderful! Wonderful! Okay, he likes that one. Charmander. Wonderful. Wonderful. Alright. Good. Very nice. Oh. What a wonderful pose. Oh, cool. Wonderful. Wow. That's probably going to be our best shot so wow. far. Fighting Magmar. Worth 800. Wow. That's a special one. Oak likes the oh. Pokemon going into violence. Great. What? Oh, shut up, dude. I mean, really? <laughs> Why don't you come try it? Alright, he likes Charmeleon. And if he doesn't like that Charizard, I'm just sitting down my camera and quitting. What a flame. Alright, so we liked our shots pretty well. He was a little picky about the centering of the Magmar, but... Wait! Oh, he's got some news. What's up, Oak? Welcome back. I like how he doesn't smile until welcome back. It's like he's... He was frowning because we weren't there. Now that we're there, he's happy. Yeah, except for my Magmar, right? Yeah, they were a little off-center. Yeah, anyway. Let's check out our report and see what we got. I don't want to look at that. I want to see my best shot. I'm going to guess it's Moltres. And I guess correctly. Yes, he really likes Moltres. He sh whenever... He shouldn't even go into detail. He should just say, This is a picture of Moltres. Here's like 5,000 points. Yeah. Alright, time for world... Yeah, world. Time for level 4, the river. Someone might be hiding nearby. Someone? Yes. Not something. A person? I really like this level. It's very relaxing. Look at that. Oak has put in some flotation devices. On the zero one. Oak okay, came prepared. So right off the bat we have Poliwag, and I think I cannot get a very good shot of it yet. Um, not that I know of. I think that comes a little later. That comes later! I think, but... Okay, never mind. They're starting to come down here. Come down here! Okay, there we go. Wow! I didn't know I could get that yet. Awesome. There's Bulbasaur, and there's a Bulbasaur with an apple. So we now have two of the three original starters, with all only Squirtle remains. And 
Next we have Slowpoke. Love, love his expression. It's so great. He's just like, huh, what was that? Okay, go over there, man. Yes, I don't know if... Like Slowpoke, I was a little s slow myself there, so... Alright. Trying to get a good shot of Slowpoke here. Not too worried about missing some shots, because... No. I'll be revisiting these levels quite a few times anyway. In fact, um, we'll be going to this level, like, again. Spoiler alert. In, like, a little bit, so... Slowpoke does a little bit of fishing with his tail, and... Evolves into a Slowbro. Awesome. Slowbro is a fantastic Pokémon. He has great defense. He can, he can just take hits all day. Unless it's a dark move. That's Metapod. Can't get the best shot of him yet, but soon enough. Swimming along here is Psyduck. He's a little shy about his picture, but we'll get him. Oh, sorry, man. But if you hit him like that, you can get a kind of an interesting shot of him. There's Cloyster. Hello. Speaking of Pokemon that can take hits all day, Cloyster is a tank. And he flies, too. Look at that. If I throw some at- yep. That's what I was trying to do. I didn't get a- there we go. Dang it. I didn't get a- yeah. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get a good face-forward shot of him, but... I think we can get a good Pikachu shot right now, too. Eh, not yet. Alright, and rather than wait on that nonsense, we'll just quit course. How about that? We don't need to see all that gate cutscene hullabaloo. I'll probably take more pictures than I should. I should probably maybe try to preserve my film or something. Alright, look at that. That's great. Three polywags centered pretty well. Bulbasaur eating an apple. Thinking about it. I didn't get... <laughs> That's funny. I didn't get too great of a slow poke shot. That's because I was trying to get a slow bro. But we'll have more opportunity. Uh, we'll go with... That one's more centered, so I guess I'll go with that one. Slow bro's not too great, unfortunately. It's kind of off in the distance. There's my pod. Nice. Psyduck is so fast, I feel like none of them are really that great, but... We'll see. That'd be good if he was turned around, but... <laughs> That's great. It's like he's singing opera. Oh, God. He's probably not gonna like any of those, though. Yeah, they're just... They're not centered at all, so... Nah, yeah, whatever. Really, a lot of these shots aren't too good, but... We're gonna go through... the river a second time in a little bit here. That'll be an opportunity to make up for that. Didn't I have some better shelter earlier? Nah, I think that was probably my best shelter. Alright. Yes. Go ahead and... You were close me all to hell, Oak. Alright, Poliwag. Yes. Great shot. Alright, he likes the Bulbasaur. You were close. I'm about close to ringing you upside the neck. How about that? Wonderful. Oh, come on. Wonderful. Alright, he likes Metapod. Wonderful. Likes Cloyster. Wonderful. Oh, he likes the Psyduck. <laughs> okay. He likes the opera singing Psyduck. Awesome. You are close. Yeah, and you're on thin ice too, buddy. Alright, Oak, tell me. What's more important to you in the opposite sex? A girl's height or a girl's weight? Wait. Okay. Thanks for verifying, man. That's probably the dumbest thing I've ever done in my entire life. All right, a present. Christmas has come early this year, my friends. Or maybe he's about a month late. I think I mean, the Pester Ball! Yes. For those of you who are big fans of disturbing Pokemon and irritating them, you now have the Pester Ball. This will allow us to find Pokemon in hidden areas. No, I'm not... Don't get poor, Gibor, me. 
So with the pester ball, we can do some backtracking if you so desire, but who wants to do that nonsense? What is this, banjo Tui? Instead, we're going to go onto the river. We'll get some new Pokemon along the way here. But for now, I'm going to try to activate some new areas. And I'm also going to use this opportunity to get some better shots. So... I'm going to be on the lookout for the shots that weren't so great the last time. The polywag was good, so I shouldn't bother with that, really. But That one might be a little closer, and thus a little better, but... I don't know if he'd give us some extra points for the polywag, like, flying or anything. But I think the shot I had was fine. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do this time around is... I'm going to try to get a very close-up of Slowpoke here. And the next Slowpoke, I'll try to get to be Slowbro as early as possible. So you just go ahead and pose all pretty for me, buddy. Better Shelter might be good. Alright, now I'll try to get Slowbro as early as possible. That way I can maybe get a close-up shot. Okay, is he... Is he gonna transform? Might be a little late here. Oh, darn it. Not well. I at least got slow, bro, so... And it was a wonderful picture, apparently, so... Alright, now, with our Pester Ball, we can get an even better shot of Metapod. Yeah, he comes down and is like, what the hell is that? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I always wonder how Metapod travels around. Alright, there's a better shot of Psyduck. And I might be able to get a certain Pokemon I, for some reason, have not gotten yet. If I can be on the lookout. But also, here in the wall... Hello! It is Porygon! One of the most interesting Pokemon in the first generation. He is hardly a Pokemon and more robotic and... And there's another Porygon hiding in that wall. Yeah, what do you think you're doing, buddy? Oh, hello. Look at that. Pikachu. Pikachu. I don't know why it cuts to him. <laughs> we just needed to see Pikachu's reaction. Wow, nice thinking there, Todd. Wow, he could have just plummeted to his death there. If he hadn't used those rockets. Oak, you're really pushing it, man. You know the kind of danger you're putting us in. Alright, um... There are fewer Poliwag here, but that's a much closer shot, so we'll go ahead and see if he likes that more. This is definitely going to be a better Slowpoke. Uh, definitely a better Metapod. And then, we've also got a better Psyduck. There we go. Not as good as the Opera one, but I probably should have albumed the Opera one. if there's any um, points, fewer points, because it's green. Uh, that one looks better, it's green, but um, it's, it's just more centered and such in general, so I think I'll like that more. All we have left is shelter. That's probably not going to be better, but we'll go ahead and see anyway. Yes. Alright, let's get the evaluation going. Well done. Oh, okay, you like that polywag better. Well Slowpoke is better. Okay, he liked the other shelter more. Well Alright, better Metapod. Better Sight. Oh, what? Oh, okay, that's good. I I didn't really want to lose that picture, so... Alright, he loves the Porygon. Ooh, we got some news. That's right, we opened a new area, so Oak has to tell us stuff we know. He really wants to be Kapoor Gabor. He wants to put the... He wants to repeat information. He wants to tell us things we've already found out. <laughs> According to your research? <laughs> Press A to do it. Yeah, nice research. I'm glad you're a professor, man. I'm glad you went to school for all those years. This area you opened up will, in fact, be a new location. Thanks for verifying, man. <laughs> Alright, we have now got a brand new location. 
the cave. And we will check this out next time. Thank you for watching, my friends. And I will see you later. Sandiles? That doesn't ring quite as well. But see you later, alligators. We'll just stick to tradition for now. Toodles! <laughs> oh man. Well done. <laughs> that was better. <laughs>